Hello viewers, welcome to today's episode. My name is Pastor Glory Ebufo from Inspire City on the year at Enugu. I'm here this morning to share the topic, Science of the End Time. But before we go further, let's say a word of prayer. Everlasting Father King of Kings, have the word in our midst as we're going to hear the words. May this world change lives in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit will come and take over, come and take charge. In Jesus' name, Amen. I want us to read from the book of Second Timothy, chapter three, and verse one. It says, "This know also that in the last days, the real times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers." False accusers, incontinent, fears, despisers of goods that are good. Hallelujah. It says that in the last days, the real time will come. Difficult time, dangerous time will come. People will love themselves more than God. Anything that will make them to be comforted, they will do it. That's why you can see somebody killing a fellow man without even having feelings. They will be killing and be doing. Spread it. No more affections. No more feelings for human being. It also says that children will be disobedient. The, the rate of disobedience in the life of children now is too much. So what I'm saying is for you to know that it's signs of the end time, for you to know what to do. Jesus has already said that it will happen. And that is what is exactly happening. That people will be disobedient to parents and they will be unthankful. You will do something to somebody, you will do things to somebody, they will now they will not pay you back with evil. These are the things happening. You use somebody money to start business. They will take that money to hide it to shrine, to close your own source of income. These are the evil of the end time. It's no more the time when you do something good for somebody. They will come and thank you with a car or goods. No more. Now they will look for a way to close your source of income. These are the wickedness of the end time. He says here that people will be high minded. It is because of this high mind that led people into ritual killings. To be on top, to be higher than other people, to be big, bigger boys. These are the signs of end time. That people will be covetous, proud. So it is pride that leads to all these things. We are humble. There is no how we want to be on top. There is no how we want people to notice you. So it is pride that is leading people astray. So these are the things mentioned that will happen in the end time, and it is happening. Let us also go to the book of Matthew, chapter 24. We also see what Jesus said there. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, from verse 11. I want you to read it to the end, but I'm going to pick a few verses. It says in verse 11, And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive me, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax. But he that endure, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Say false prophets will come and they are here. You can hear so many things. So I want you to know that it's not every pastor that is a real pastor. Jesus has already said it that false pastor will come. So when it is happening, know that it's false pastors. Stop criticizing the body of Christ. Jesus has already said it that false prophets will come. They are just coming there to weaken the, the faith of people. They are just coming there to drop people away from faith because it says that, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So many people are not coming to church now. When I go to evangelism, I, I meet so many people that have stopped going to church because of the things happening there. Many false prophets are in the church now, extorting people, collecting people's so money, stealing in the church. They are false prophets. So let us be mindful of this. We need to know the word of God. So that when anyone is happening, you know that Jesus Christ has already said it. Because all these things must happen. And he said that iniquity will happen. Things will never get to work. The thing, what things will be happening? They are the signs of end time. So let us be mindful of, of ourselves. Let us be mindful of the things that are happening. Jesus has already said it. But he said something here. But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So when you endure, when you still remain in God, when you remain in Christ, 
Because the devil is doing all those things to draw people away from Christ. He is doing all these things for people to backslide, for people in order to become enemies of God. But if you will endure and remain in God, you will be saved. Then verse 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the whole world, for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. We are getting to the end, but the end has not really come. But we are in the end time. He said that this gospel must be pushed all over the nation so that nobody will have excuse to give. Nobody will say, I did not hear it. Because there are so many evil, so many evil people going on. You that have known Christ, it is also left for you to also tell people about Christ, to tell people what is happening, to encourage people in the faith, to encourage them so that they will know that this is the thing that Jesus Christ prophesied ahead of time. And not to draw back. The Bible says that they that draw back, that the love of God is not in them. It is now, this is the time to show God that we love Him. It is time to appreciate that finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. This is not time for you to repent. It is not time for you to be weak in the spirit. Right? Because the Bible says in the book of Revelation, you are neither those that are not that are not that are not either hot or cold that is going to vomit them. So this is the season you need to be hot for God. It is the season you need to be vibrant for God. It is the season that you need to be deeply rooted in the Word of God. Because the Word of God is the only one, only thing that can encourage us. The Word of God is power. The Word of God is everything we can impact on man. And there's something the Bible says in the book of, in the same book of Matthew 24 verse, it says, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. For nations shall rise against nation, and the kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence. You see the cost of things are getting higher every day. So when you see all these things, know that it is within the diary. It's normal. No matter that will happen in the last days. So let us not be ignorant of the season we are in. The last days, the end time is here. It's here. So prepare yourself. That's the essence of knowing all these things. For you to prepare yourself. For you to be properly guarded. So that things will not take you on a way. So that everything will not come when you are not prepared. You need to prepare for that great day. My dear brethren, I'm encouraging us. We are running these years together. I'm encouraging us to get closer to God. To get closer to the Word of God. To have access to the Holy Spirit of God. He's the only one that can help us in this end time. May the Lord bless our souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. I believe that you all are blessed by the word which you have heard. For prayer, counseling, and partnership, you can contact us through the phone numbers on the screen. I still remain your host, Pastor Gloria Eliphu. See you in the next episode. Thank you.